So do you want me to sit down or should I just start talking and dancing and shit? We just going in. We always go in, Angelo. Like You're right. Classy white nigga, where You're you right. from? Yeah, but where you from though? That's it. You from Westchester? Holy shit! That's what I'm looking for. Somebody from Westchester. Uh, you classy? You don't hang out with any gorillas, do you? I'm sick of these motherfucking gorillas. You can buy some more. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Welcome to the Rigorous Podcast. I'm Angelo. This is the producer extraordinaire, Shani, and that is the Queen, Maurice. You have a very hard job, Angelo. What is that? To think of something new to say at the top of the podcast every week. Every week. And you do such a good job of doing it. I try. I Happy try. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Happy, Happy Pride Month. Holy it's, shit. It's Pride Month, mama. That's right. Look, everybody out there has to have pride. Absolutely. Be who you are. Absolutely. Be prideful about who you are. Absolutely. This life is short. Do it. If you want to get purple hair streaks, get the shit. <laughs> That's what Shannon does. If you want to wear a mash bowling shirt, do the <laughs> shit. A mash bowling shirt? That's it. Is that what you call it, my shirt? A mash? That shit is mash. Look at that Hawkeye. <laughs> Holy shit. But it is, yeah, it's from, I told you before, my, my nephew, my nephew got Yo, I don't understand how these finger gloves have not caught on. These shits is rigorous as shit. They're, they're damn near kinetic, baby. Finger gloves is kinetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm the only one in the universe that be wearing them. Well, I mean, I mean, some people have caught on. Only on Halloween, I've seen oh, a few people ha- wearing yeah, them shit. Only on Halloween. I had to cut these myself. These are wool socks. Oh, so you... <laughs> yeah, I got my own style, Angelo. So you made these? I made these. You made these? That's right. Are they not on your line? What do you mean? On your line, your um, your fashion line. Uh, they're about to be. Uh, they not yet, idea. but thank you for the idea. You, you see, I got so much shit floating around in my head, Angelo. I You're can't welcome. get to everything. You're welcome, baby. That's You're it. welcome. How was your weekend, mom? My weekend was very good. How yeah. was your weekend? You was out there doing was, your yeah. little stand up with Giannis Papas. <laughs> <laughs> you too was out we there. Were do, yeah, me and uh, me and Giannis, we are uh, we at the Liberty Live. We had a wonderful weekend. Was people really disappointed? I wasn't there. <laughs> people probably were, like, yeah. a little bit. You know, there was there was a little disappointment. Um, I was. I I you know I thought you'd be there. I took the job thinking you were going to be there. People wasn't satisfied with your little stand-up, you and Giannis Papa doing that stand-up? No, people were very satisfied. Giannis is a very, very funny dude. He funny, but... He's a funny dude. It's a lot better when I'm there. Yeah, of course, of course. Because because you bring that energy, but I think, yeah, I think he's... uh, yeah, he's gotten very, very good. He's gotten very good. He's got such a confusing career. Do you because think Because so? when you look in the audience, there's uh-huh. some people right. that, you know, some people is there. Uh-huh. Some people know me. Some people don't. Some right. people know other shit. Some people right. know him. He don't know what he's doing. He, well, he's His tr- career's in transition. He, he, I think he's trying to, right. I think he's trying to transition because he knows you're getting so big. I think yeah. He, I think he's trying to do something. He don't care, though, Doc. No. Deep down, he's just doing whatever. He's, he's a crazy person, Doc. He, he has no idea that. He don't care. So he, he, there was no rhyme or reason. He just, he just decided, you just decided not to be there. He just, did, like, he, did he ask you? He, he didn't even ask me. Oh, and so that's, that's what it. I'm trying but to figure I wasn't out. available anyway. I had <laughs> shit to do this weekend. I was hanging out with Larice. We went to the mall. Larice, how's Larice doing? She's doing good. She's still job hunting. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> Shani, Shan, is that she, killing you? Is that, that's, that noise killing you? Oh, no, no, no. Of him slurping? Chewing. Chewing is oh, a chewing, problem. Yeah. Yeah. Chewing. Okay. Only when you're trying to bring empanadas from that French bush. <laughs> we be promoting places. They're probably going to go down just to meet the empanada Nazi. <laughs> shit, they are good, though. That's it. You put up with the little rude shit That's because they are, they are fantastic. Oh, by the way, yes. Shannon, we need to adjust this shit because they've been hitting me up. What's so that? The, we had a little confusion with these podcasts, but it's all fixed now. Okay. Right, Shannon? Yeah, so we switched over servers that host all of the shows on the network, and there mm. was a glitch with the rigorous podcast that it created two different accounts in iTunes, but it's all fixed now. Sorry. Don't lie to them, Shannon. It's them Russian bots trying to shut us down. <laughs> is that they what trying it is? to do us like they did Hillary, but they, they ain't stopping this Me Too movement. They can't. They ain't stopping this Me Too movement. They can't. Not, That's sad. Not this month. Not these fucking Russian bots. Mm-mm. So we all fixed up. So you're getting these podcasts and Angelo's here still. <laughs> still alive. Here I We're am. still going. Here I am. That's it. I called my cardiologist and went right to, <laughs> went right to voicemail. Again, it went to voicemail. <laughs> I can't get <laughs> Every week. 
<laughs> he got deported. That's what happened. I can't get my uh, I can't get my results. You know what happened? Why he can't not picking up the phone? Because the sanitation department finally went in there. They got rid of those goats he was doing voodoo with in there. <laughs> you can't have it? a you can't have a doctor's office and goats in there to sacrifice. <laughs> he doesn't have he doesn't have good. Not that I saw. Yeah, you ever went to the backyard down there in the basement? That's interesting. No, I have not. You haven't been down no, there. No, and he does have a basement. So that's right. I don't know. So I know. I'm not sure. The first rule of going to a doctor yeah. is if you have to go down steps to go to it, <laughs> that's not the doctor to see. You need to go to one with a fucking elevator in there. If you ain't getting in the elevator to go see someone who has an MD, and another tip is if he don't have his diploma on the wall, Angelo, yeah. then no. there's a good chance he ain't a real doctor. No, he has a diploma on the wall. Yeah, what was that shit from? Divide University? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, Online um, doctor school? No, no. Um, <laughs> Where was it? Did you remember the school? I don't. Yeah, I, I that's right. It didn't, really, it didn't really register. Yeah, that's right. I kind of feel it's like a Haitian type You school. couldn't see through the incense smoke. <laughs> <laughs> to see his diploma. <laughs> Angela, you had the wrong doctor. Uh, okay. Go to Staten Island. I know Shannon got some friends whose doctors are there. You got doctor friends, Shannon? <laughs> no, I wish I did. She yeah. does. Out in Staten Island, you don't? Uh, they no. only speak Albanian, but you still could go there. <laughs> they got an English translator. Shannon be hanging out with a lot of Albanians out there. Shannon was hanging out this weekend at the... Talk to us about the, the free... You're uh, a why you stalking show? that? Uh, this is another segment we call <laughs> Angela Noah Shannon doing because he's stalking that Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, I actually drank way too much all weekend, which is why I'm not putting myself on camera today. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You don't I look drank, any, You look good. Oh, I drank so much this weekend. But really? what, you, what you're talking about was uh, the freestyle event at the place where I work. Okay. And it was uh, it was freestyle for a cause. So all of the proceeds went to Autism Awareness and the Erica Roman Foundation. Erica. Shana, yeah. Erica? You too good a person to be hanging out with these <laughs> Louis J. Gomez's out here. Hey, come on, Shani. Put yourself on the it. screen. I'm so, I'm so gross. Sorry, I can't do it. Yo, you are not gross. I, I am so beat up. I drank four days in a row a lot. Oh, okay. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my week. Shani, <laughs> okay. that's happens to ladies. They get hung over. They don't want to be on camera. Yeah, yeah. You ladies, you get like little bags and stuff. What's wrong with my, with my headphones here? I hear you. I can't hear myself. But, you can still hear me, though, right, Shannon? So yeah. fuck it. I, can, I don't care. I can hear you. But, Mama, you know, um, so was, was Sal there? Sal Abatello? And and because uh, you mentioned Erica. And Erica, I know Erica for many years. Oh, like, really? I knew her, yeah. Oh, I didn't know with, that. With the troupe, her cousin um, her cousin was the um, the Quinto. assistant to our manager. And then Erica, she was a youngin', and she came up, and she would, like, whatever I needed, Erica would get me. And then she died in a well, that's awful, so nice. awful, that's awful nice. car crash. Why don't we save this conversation for pre or post <laughs> podcast? We're trying to entertain people. Because you just said, it's Erica, any, yeah. I, we, how, how it's crazy how the world just, like, you know, full circle. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a coincidence. She's at an event. And I happen to know Erica Roman. Everybody knows you, Angelo. Let's be honest. When it comes to New York City, you are a staple in this comedy scene. Right. You've been doing this little stand-up, <laughs> these little sketch groups for a long time. A lot of Everybody, they It's like six degrees of separation with Angelo Lizada. You, I mean, it kind of is. Everybody like, knows you. I don't know about that. You know Danny Haas. You know J-Lo. I You've been around all these motherfuckers. I've been. I have been. That's it. But Even I, when we done, we done, done to Miami, there's some. There's people who came to the show who knew you from back in the day in New York City. That's right. They that's used to right. go see you at oh, the New J York Rican Rule. James DeBoer. Barber from DLG, you That's remember that? It. That big dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The James was my guy. But Erica Roman, I loved her very much, and uh, so yeah, I'm glad they were doing that. So how was the show? Who was who's there? Okay, I, I you know I can't remember all the names. Uh, Raquel, you were that drunk? <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't. I was so freaking busy. The uh, place yeah. reached capacity within an hour of the doors opening. Holy so this shit. is this is where you usually work? Yeah, it's just it's usually private events, and every so every so often it'll be like a public party. So, but it's it's that type of venue that it can. It's huge. Yeah. Wow. Okay. There's like three. There's two floors, and then like an outside bar. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, so so it was a Noel Suave Raquel. <gasps> How come you didn't tell me about this, This sounds Shannon? in your wheelhouse, This mommy. is my wheelhouse right here. This is Suzy Q type shit. I mean, holy so shit. It yeah, was the, good. The music was freaking awesome. It was amazing. Yo, I'm right. telling you, yeah. Freestyle needs to make a comeback. Hopefully, it will soon. Solid morning. Yeah. I wake up good and you're morning. not by my side. Silent morning. So, it was like that, huh? Yeah, it was crazy. And then I did like like how I used to do back in the day. When we closed, we uh -huh. all went for breakfast at like 5 in the morning. Okay. I went home, took a little nap, and then because ne next week's my, my birthday, so we had like birthday brunch bright and early in the morning. Nice. I just kept it going, the drinking. You just kept a going. Drinking, a lot of drinking. <laughs> so it's your birthday next week? Happy next week? Happy birthday, yeah, Saturday. Saturday. This you. Sat okay, Saturday. so we're not. Okay, Saturday's your birthday. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Shady. Thanks. What's happening? What, what's happening over here, mommy? It's fucking coffee. 
sticking to this fucking to the coaster, and every time I pick it up, it drops the coaster. Mommy, is that what it is? Yeah, this shit has got a lot of. Look at that static energy. Hop picking it up every okay. time and shit. <laughs> okay. These coasters is cheap. They got them shits on Amazon. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, so you had a great time. Yeah. And it was, and it was a good cause. Yes. And yeah, was my close personal friend Lisa Lisa there? No. Okay. You know her too. I do know her. Who don't you? I'm I telling her, you. I had her on the Lozada Lowdown. She was on my first Lozada Lowdown. Lozada Lowdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sold out every time. I'm, I did that shit once. You did. That's you, did. you killed it as usual. Absolutely. Lozada Lowdown last Wednesday of every month at the Gotham Comedy Club. You know who I had this past week? Who'd you have? The rent is too damn high. You had that guy? <laughs> that first of all, who is he? Jimmy McMillan. And where's he come from? He comes from Brooklyn. Yeah, he's bugged out. And how did he get this fame that he became the rent too high dude? He, he just be, he just decided to start this this movement of the rent is too damn high. And he made so a video. In, uh, yeah, yeah. So and he so the rent. So in 2010, he decided to run for governor. So he was at the debate. Anybody can debate. Anybody can run. Yeah. That's why I say we should think about running. Would you be my vice president candidate for governor of New York City? <laughs> we'd be the we'd be the president and vice president of the governors here. Absolutely. And would, Shannon would be the would, secretary of treasury. I would love that. That's I, it. I would be the vice president president of That's governors. That's right. We should do that. <laughs> take over New York, make it rigorous again. So yeah, make a, make New York rigorous again. That's what it That's is. That's right. Oh, that would be crazy. Absolutely. What could, like we'll have we'd hats. be corrupt too. That's the problem. <laughs> Nah, now, nah, well, you know, you straight arrow, Angelo, yeah. but you be doing your little shit on the side, and yeah. you, you know me, I, you know, I like that money. It's yeah. good, hard for me to be straight. I like hustling. You're a, little a hustler, bit. I'm a little bit of a hustler. hustler. But you think, you think at this point, baby, you, you, yeah, you uh... if I was doing it for the people, I'm not going to steal for the people. That's what I'm saying. But if I'm setting up those contracts, I'm going to get a fucking <laughs> kickback. Cause we setting up those contracts anyway. Right. So hand me a fucking envelope. Okay. That's say. <laughs> That's why you need to keep me out of politics. I got. That New York hustler mentality. Oh, uh, you do, baby. That's right. You should you never. Do. We should not elect any politicians in New York from New York because you could uh, assume that they fucking hustling. But then you can't. You can't really run. Any, uh, no, you can right? import them shits from out of state. But you, you can though, right? Because Hillary did that, right? She wasn't from of New York. Course. She moved to New York. I mean, that bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously. And then she became senator. Hillary Clinton is a champion for the woman named herself, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I mean, some people say she a champion for the women. I say, yeah, the woman named Hillary Clinton. Her T-shirt should read, I'm with me. I'm with me. That's it. Good joke, Angelo. You like that, boo-boo? Little stand-up. <laughs> Put that shit in your skit. <laughs> My little skit. Put that shit in your little skit. My little skit. I'm with me. That's hilarious. Hashtag, I'm with me, Hillary. Yeah. Hillary's crazy. But you know what? Look, she, you know, uh -huh. she knows how to work that shit. Yeah. She knows how to work that shit. Well, yeah. And she moved to New York. She became Senator Hill. And then JFK Jr. died in that in the plane crash right before she was he was going to run. She wasn't right. going to be JFK Jr. No, she but wasn't. But she no. killed him in a plane crash. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> People always yeah. mysteriously dying Hillary. around Hillary Clinton. Your your <laughs> your uh your perspective on history is fascinating, baby. I'm not because you a nail it. You nail it though. I'm because, not a professional, but it makes sense though. I never thought that Hillary was responsible with JFK Jr.'s death. I mean, and now the way you broke it down, it's just weird. She's responsible for this. Listen, she we know she, she had a part of it. I mean, she didn't kill him, right? I, I, I mean, probably oh, I not. I don't. I don't know that. But yo, we don't know that for sure. Yeah. But a lot of mysterious <laughs> shit be happening around Hillary Clinton. That is true. Because she moved here and tra she's. A very ambitious woman right. like Shannon, yeah, yeah, trying to move on. Now, Shannon's just here, like working girl, right. just to ch fucking ha get, she waiting for that opportunity to get into that meeting, right? Make those suggestions and take over this fucking guy's digital. <laughs> okay, that's what she's doing. So, Hillary Clinton is ambitious like that, right? So, she moved to New York to become senator, okay. And JFK Jr. was going to run for senator, right? And he was, yeah, you he remember was, how cute he was? He was, he was, a I fox. Mean, he was hot, yeah. Everybody, I'm talking about everybody loved guttural it. shit. Shani, you liked uh, JFK Jr.? Of course she did. He was tall, too. Do you remember JFK Jr.? Yeah, he, he has like a, like a swag to him. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. did. I mean, yeah. he passed away. He's not with us anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know that, right, Shani? Had. Yeah. Had. <laughs> Yo, yeah, can had. you pull up his picture, please? Yeah, he was a, Shirtless. Pull up one of those yeah. shirtless JFK Jr. There's on the a, beach. There's a lot of them. Oh, hell yeah. There's a lot of shirtless so, pictures. And you know most in New York City, you know, women is most of the population here. Right. So you know he was going to win. Is that true, though? Are there more women in, uh, in the world? The, look at this I mean, are this. you kidding me? Look at this Are dude. you kidding me? Look at that one all the way down to the left there where his hair is wet. I only want to see... See, this is... No, yeah, holy shit! I mean, you kidding me? Who's not going to vote for him? You know every gay man and woman going to vote uh, for JFK Jr. Look, look at this dude, look at this dude. I mean, sir, yo, it's actually kind of sad when you see these pictures to see that he passed away. Yeah, it is. Somebody got killed. What it, what it, what it I mean, look, uh, Shannon, what just insane... pause right here. 
Okay. What an insane family. Let's, let's talk to Mrs. Fucking High Standards. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shannon, is he not good enough because he doesn't have any tattoo? You're not seeing past that fucking money that he has, Shannon? He got his own helicopters. He's very skinny. He's too skinny. <laughs> too fucking Sad. skinny. Is he too skinny? How tall Shannon, is he? Shannon, we talking about American royalty? How tall is he, Are mama? you passing yeah. out? He about 6'2". Oh, he's 6'0". Six I like that. 6'0"? Like, yeah, he's a little skinny, though. Really? Oh, this, is, this one's better. I mean, he is. That's better. That, that's better? It's the same dude, boo. I mean, Jesus Christ, Shannon. We need to <laughs> seriously. So he's too skinny and no little tats. Skinny. Yeah. So you'd say no. You'd pass? So you would rather go on tour with fucking Emma Lee. <laughs> who... He released a new song, by the way. Did he? Yes. Oh. So, Shannon, let me get this straight. Let's listen to a little bit. A you little bit of rather... it later. Let's be honest. Yeah. Amos Lee got about five, six more years. <laughs> of what? Right? Of just like being like, you oh, know, okay. having a fight. Then he's going to get a little older. Right. And his 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 concert's going to get a, kind of thinned out. Right. So Shannon would rather be on tour with this motherfucker going yeah. to, from city to city. Right. Than sitting in Newport, Rhode Island or right. some shit like that. Right. With this Camelot. Royal, Camelot. And Camelot. Right. With this royalty. He got some of wealth. He don't know what to do with it. <laughs> right. With with his, with that body, right? Sh- uh, uh, hang out with that face. Right. Shannon would rather be hanging out with that weird looking motherfucker, Amos yeah. Lee. <laughs> he looked like a camel. <laughs> you ever look at? He looked like a camel. He looks a little like yeah, like the what's what's the camel dude? The uh, the the um... pull, pull up Amos Lee. Let's look at that camel face. <laughs> I mean, he's, a, that. he's cute, but I mean, he ain't JFK Junior. No, but just no, let, but let's no, get a good look. Let, I mean, uh, look, he looked like a camel. Look at that. He looked like he's supposed to be on a cigarette box. I can't support your opinion here. You Marisa. cannot. You cannot. You cannot. I mean, that's a camel's face right there. <laughs> in the cigarette box. What's that? Oh, I camel. Mean, camel's the cigarette. Like a, actually, he looked a little like Angelo Lazaro if Angelo Lazaro was cleaned up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so Yo, don't, Shannon, say, don't he look a little like Angelo? No. I don't ah, it. take it easy. <laughs> Shannon, easy. She said no. I, I, don't, I don't see it either. I don't see it either. He looks like a camel. <laughs> so you saying I look like a camel? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now if we try to match faces to animals, I would say camel first. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I mean, shit. I'm a panther, so you a camel. And what's yeah. Shannon? What's the animal really we were trying to, we were trying to think about. We were trying to think about that the other day, right? Like, what would be Shannon's her... a woodpecker. Because I'm an owl, no? Am I an owl? I'm still Absolutely. an owl, I'm now a camel. No, well, you, well, you look like a camel, but your personality is an owl. owl. That's it. Okay. We brought up John Leguizamo last week. You said, uh, you know, you said, uh, you know, it's all right, you know, yeah. John is a friend, Ma. You know, yeah, he's, John's he's a, a friend, deal. but you shit on his one man shows with your <laughs> energy. I never shit. Holy on. shit, you did. My energy, I just, I, you, Migos I, looking for you. They got a contract <laughs> out for you. Migos <laughs> trying to kill you. Migos is just straight whack. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, I you don't have, put it out there. Yeah, Migos is just straight whack. But uh, John is a friend, and John is fantastic. He's an immense talent. He's, okay, thank you. Finally, so, so yeah, but I want to go back to to Clinton because we're talking about Hillary and Bill is now in the news about they, he says uh, he put a cigar on somebody else's pussy. No, <laughs> no. I like to smoke cigars he's with just, pussy. He's too. just saying the wrong shit. He's what just he about about Monica Lewinsky and you know like he doesn't need to apologize and it's just like come on man. Like next question, you know why? But, but seriously. First of all, why, they still somebody asked him about Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> yeah, 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 they did. And they want to apologize now about Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. Who is this? Yeah. Who, who uh, did this? I think it was Cal, uh, um, Craig Melvin from MSNBC. I think. So we're talking about something from twenty five right. fucking years so ago. So you saying it shouldn't have been brought up? I mean, uh, you, you could bring. I mean, bring it up if you want to. But, but I think. But it's, I th- it's, it's it's what's what's that going to do? But the relevance is the Me Too movement, though. You know what I mean? The relevance is the Me Too movement and how with Harvey Weinstein. So what did they want him to and, say? And Sorry about cheating on my wife well, with an intern? What did they want him to say? I think that they want his position on, on where we're at now as far as he was the president. He, yeah. That happened. And he liked- Trump Trump is in the midst of like all these different allegations. Yeah. And I think they just wanted his perspective on how does, how does he feel now about the Me Too movement. Okay, so listen, first so of I all. So I think it's kind of fair. I don't know what I don't know what Bill Clinton did with these other girls. Right. They said that he was. Uh, There's a lot of them. He said, "Yeah, he, there's a few of them accused him of some harassment or some shit <laughs> right, like that." Right. Mm-hmm. But look, are we? Oh, does everyone want to live in this online fantasy world? Because then let's all move in. Okay. All right. Let's just move into this fantasy world okay. where men don't like pussy. Okay. Men like men like pussy. Right. They like it. Okay. Bill Clinton, he liked pussy. Right. He cheated on his wife mm. twenty five fucking years ago. He was fucking this girl. She wasn't a. She was a. She was an adult. He was an adult. She knew what she was doing. He knew right. what he was doing. Right. So that's it. Okay. Women are attracted to men in power. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. Except for fucking Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> she would pass up on JFK Jr. to go with this motherfucker who's on tour in Omaha. Who looks like. A 
a camel. I mean, he looked like a camel face. So Shannon is the exception, but everybody else fucking JFK Jr. Right. So you supposed to apologize? Bill Clinton has swagger. Yeah. He was kind of handsome back in the day. Right. And he had a lot of power. Okay. He had a little weakness. What was his weakness? Pussy. He liked that pussy. He liked that calamari. He liked the calamari. So that's it. Okay. So when you're president, right. you can't go out there and hunt calamari. Right. You got to get the closest shit that's to you. Okay. Because he's busy. Okay. All right? So shit. <laughs> I mean, got it. I would you it. would you want got a president it. who's getting his dick sucked or a president who's not getting his dick no, sucked? No, no. I, I want a president who's relaxed yeah. and is getting his dick sucked. Right. You think Hillary was sucking that dick? I, I can't this. even believe we're talking about this <laughs> shit from 25 years past. <laughs> MSNBC needs NBC. There's serious shit going on in the world. Yeah. You're going back to fucking Bill Clinton. Right, right. Everybody already knows that shit. Right. You want him to apologize for Monica Lewinsky? I mean, mm -hmm. come on. Okay. What is this, a late night monologue in 1992? They need you. They needed you in that audience. If you were in that audience, would you have just screamed out all of this? I would have just said, okay, how about this? I would have said to Bill, yeah. why don't you just apologize? And then when, once he did, be like, okay, so where are we at now? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> what, what is that fix? What are we fixing here? I mean, the motherfucker going to be dead in five years. What are we doing with Bill Clinton? He already had three heart attacks. That yeah. motherfucker looks like a walking skeleton. He does. He looks, I mean, he looks weird, man. He looks odd. He's getting old. He's just old. Angelo. Yeah, he's yeah, just he old. getting old. He's old. What are we accomplished? I get it. MSNBC? Yeah, you're right. I, I mean, yeah. You're really breaking the news over there. Right. Bill Clinton's apologize right. for Monica Lewinsky. Right. But you know, uh, going back to you and I running for office, I think the fact that we're, we would be up front, I think that would help us. Like would. you telling them, look, I'm going to be stealing. I'm going to be taking from contracts. I'll be stealing. Right. I and want to say this you... about the Me Too movement, though. Okay, go. Treat women better. Okay. That's you shouldn't it. be harassed. Look, if a woman's not into you, right. stop that shit. Okay. Also, stop being a fucking creep, all right? <laughs> stop being a fucking creep. You, who, but but uh, not too much. Okay. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real, Angelo. Okay. Women, we like to be fucking slobbered over. Okay. So keep giving us attention. You like shit. a little creepiness. Just, a, not Just a, not, not, no creepiness. No creepy. But, but fucking attention. But yeah, okay. That's it. Yeah. I want to feel sexy. But there's different levels of like attention and creepy. Like there's that line, right? So Figure that shit out. Right. Figure that shit out. <laughs> it's not that difficult. <laughs> you can look all you want. Yeah. But stop. If I'm not into it, stop that shit. Right. Go home and jerk off to me. That's your business. Okay. But don't let me would know you, about would it. You, would you No? Would you get off on that, mommy? Do you? I'm sure people. I'm Depends sure, on who the person I'm is. I'm sure dudes are like fucking whacking off to you. Depends on. Look, we women, there's certain people we want jerking off to us uh, and certain we don't. Oh, I got it. Okay. If you're doing it, we can't control you. It's a free country. Right, right. But right. I don't want to know about that shit. But you don't, you're not a little flattered if you find out like somebody. A little bit. Yeah, yeah a little bit. <laughs> a little bit shit. <laughs> Look, women, we got a short window. <laughs> we got a short window, Shannon. You know it's true. Shannon, we go from about 16 to about 39, 40, yeah. and then that shit, then shit. That's a little you window. You're trying to find the guys who would like cougars, and that's it. Yeah. You Sh better find yourself a couchy by the time you're 42. <laughs> if you don't find yourself an Angelo couchy, I'm sorry, ladies, I can't help you. I warned you, that's it. Shannon, you agree with this? Uh, I agree that there's a small window. Okay. But I don't like the idea of a guy who I haven't already slept with. Yeah. Jerking off to me. Oh, you do not like I that. I do not like okay. it. Okay. You don't. You don't. You don't think that's flattering. No. I, no. It grosses. Different strokes. It grosses different you folks. out. Yeah. So it's really creepy to you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's good to know. Well, listen, Shannon. We can't control that, though. Yeah. Yeah. I, you then, know? I, yeah then I. I don't want to know anything. That's what I said. I don't want to think about it. Right. You know. Am I a little flat about? It? Yes. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Different stroke, but different folks. Well, that's what I'm saying. You'd, you'd be a little flatted, and she's not flat. She's disgusted by that's it. That's fine. Listen. Yeah. You can't control what it. What if Amos Lee? What if Amos Lee, if you find out Amos Lee was doing She already said I'm she's into that. Yeah. <laughs> you make okay, Look, you can't it. control what people do. Okay. People are going to do what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know about that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't want to think about that shit. Am I a little flattered? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you said. I'm a sex object. I know this, Angel. <laughs> I'm a sex object for You really for are. Yeah. You're, you're like a little sex kid. I'm fucking, my rigorosity is so sexy. It it, is. It's, it, men find it hard to control themselves. That's why I bring it up because I, I know for a fact that dudes. Personality sure. is very attractive. It really is. Yeah. It really is. It I'm really telling is. you. Ladies need to be more in touch with that. Yeah. Because look, sometimes we fall back on titties and ass, and that's yeah. fine too. Yeah, that's be good. Be in the gym. Yeah. You know, doing those squats. Right. You know, doing that. But sometimes too rigorous. Men is attracted to rigorosity right. just the same way um, women is attracted to men with charisma. Right. So right. It goes the other way. If you're sure. a woman and you got a lot of charisma, men is into that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. So, I mean, ladies, you know, it's, it's good for, the, you know, to take care of themselves and to look good, but it's all about that personality. You got to get that personality. Yeah. Well, how about, how about, let's get to, into this, Miss America. But you got to count. Couchy up by 42. Yeah, you, well, I mean, look, let's, let's 42. give him 45. Let's give him 45. 45. Yeah, I mean, depends you got how. to couchy up. Okay. Couchy up. I'm down for that. Find yourself a fucking, yeah. And then if you need to cheat on him, because he not that sick, do what you got to do. 
I'm not judging. <laughs> Ashley Madison, plug to the, whatever you got to do. <laughs> Another plug. Look, that, look, I, Angela, you know what I really believe? What do you believe, baby? I believe like there should come an age like in the 50s or 60s, right? right? Uh-huh. If you've been together with someone for 20, 30 years, right. and you in love, your b- b- love bond is so strong. Mm-hmm. If both of you need to stray a little bit, right. fucking do it. That's interesting. I mean, what do you care? That's interesting. Everybody needs to get wet once I, in a right. while. As long as you come back and that bond is still there. I mean, there. what you going to do? But you have to have that what understanding. What you going to do? But what you have to, it's not, it's not, you can't do it secretly. Look, if I'm with somebody 40 years, yeah. and, and, they, and they cheating mm-hmm. with somebody, and, and, and she got a, another family and shit. Yeah, right. And, and all that shit. And they fall in love. I said, move that bitch in. I, we've been together 40 years. I'll raise her kids. I don't care. We ain't breaking up. I'm not starting over, Angelo. Right. So you'd rather know. You'd rather not, you don't want it to be a secret I mean, when behind comes, your back. If you're in your 60s or your 70s, <laughs> right. I'm almost going to applaud you for getting for getting some some action. How about I that? mean, come on. Yeah, we're yeah. human beings here. That's true. Love is not all about sex, Angelo. Love is not all about Especially sex. Especially that mature love down the, down the line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Different stuff for different folks. Okay. I'm just talking what's right for me. Okay, but that's it. So Everybody you, needs to feel sexy once in a while. Yeah. That's so that, it. so that, so you would move them. You would move her in. I moved the whole family in. <laughs> Whatever. We ain't starting over. We not breaking up. <laughs> as long as you don't. Break. We ain't breaking up. Yeah. I ain't starting over, Angelo. That's a strong bond, baby. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Good job. That's it. Like so I, 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 that's I, evolved. That is so fucking evolved. I bet you it's about for the same way. Probably. You got been together how long? Uh, ten years. Ten years. Yeah, yeah. So you start fucking this bitch on the side. God right. forbid. Right? God forbid. And she got kids, and you like, I'm leaving. She, she probably been like, I'm not starting over. Right. Come on, just move that whole family in here. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> Now Murray got stepbrothers that are human. <laughs> Fuck that shit. We ain't starting over, Angelo. <laughs> yeah, that's just a waste of time. Yeah. That would be a waste of chunk of time. Don't right? take my advice. I am just a <laughs> internet personality. You're just a, you're just a vessel, baby. You're yeah. a vessel. That's it. So I want to talk about Miss America. We're talking about women and, and you know looking good. And Miss America decided there's no more swimsuit competition, and they're no longer judging on beauty. What do you think about that? Uh, I, I'm. I, I just don't know what this world is, Angelo. <laughs> I mean, is this something, Shannon? You heard about this? Is it true? I did, yes. Yeah. And then I, I researched it a little bit because okay. I realized, like, I maybe I needed a better understanding of what Miss America is. Yes. And uh, so it it started out in 1920 as a bathing suit competition. Wow. It was to get to draw people to Atlantic City. Okay. And it right. kind of started from there, and then eventually over the years, and it was just for white, healthy women. Okay. Until, that's fucked up. Yeah, until 1950. But it was 1920, <laughs> mama. Yeah. You know. I mean, shit. <laughs> I mean, that's, apparently, that's all that was in the world. Those people have brain damage back then. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I until mean. 1950, then they introduced uh, people of other ethnicities. In 1950? In 1950, Wow, that's yeah. really a long time but ago. But the, the first African-American winner was in 1984, and that was Vanessa, Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, shit, was but she it, rigorous. So, yeah, but, but it started so as... So your point is yeah. a fantastic point. It started as a bathing suit competition. Yeah. So now we're at a point in which it's no longer allowed in the pageant and i think it's ridiculous i think pageants are stupid anyway but if you're gonna have them just have them so what is the what are they judging on now and and no longer judging on beauty i don't know what what are they judging on so let let me tell you personality so okay let them do that okay and see what happens to the fucking ratings of that (laughs) thing exactly (laughs) why why waste anybody's time i mean come on let's say what are we talking i mean come on they said that they're also going to open it up to women of different body types as well Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I mean, this world is getting crazy. Every you know, People want to... Look, reality can be harsh and not fair. Mm-hmm. And right now, nobody wants to live in reality. Mm-hmm. They're trying to make this fantasy world where everything is utopia. Right. Good luck with that shit. <laughs> Good luck with that shit. Let them try it. Look, yeah. don't hate on it. Let them try see how it goes. Yeah. See how it goes. See see what happens. It's cut, yeah. Maybe that shit will be better. Yeah. Maybe who knows? I'm, I'm telling you now it won't. But let them try that shit. It, it's yeah. It's it's fascinating to me on how because you want to know what it is actually. You know what the reality is. What the fuck is? are we doing? You mommy? know what the reality is. What the reality is. You want the women who watch that shit. Yeah. Want to watch that shit. To hate on dumb, the, how dumb these beautiful bitches are. Okay, that's what we like to do. Okay, we like to look at them and go, look at that bitch's answer. Okay, trying to pretend like she's smart. Okay, right, and then the men like to watch it. Why? Because they like to see that sexy, beautiful shit. Right, and if you remove those two right. shits, yeah. nobody wants to watch that shit. Right, right, right. But they, like, but they're just removing the beautiful. They just removing so the shit you for removing, the men. You removing the audience because the women don't want to watch it either. Well, you, like, I don't want to watch some bitch answer something interesting. But, yeah. I don't want to watch that. 
poorly? If I, if I want to hear somebody say something interesting, I'm going to come over to your house and we're going to eat cow tongue. I'm going to sit down with Isabel <laughs> and find out about what's going on in the world. Right. I want to start about somebody who's got a, who's a teacher, right. somebody who's smart. I don't want to hear some fucking Miss America pageant, bitch. Right, okay. I want to see her in a swimsuit and hate on her answers when she goes, yeah, we saved the world. Yeah. I would do the dolphins. Right. I'd be like, look at this dumb bitch trying to think. Right, it's right. hurting her. Right. Hurting right. her tits to talk, to think. <laughs> That's what uh, we like to do, Angelo. We caddy. Mm-hmm. That's what women is. We caddy. Right. That's it. We like to defend our children and be caddy. Yeah. That's the nature of a woman. Okay. That's it. And and just give like like really unrequited love to to children to, to their kids to the children to the yeah. Kids. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. control men. We like to do you like, like to, you like to control men as well. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, look, we we the anchor of this civilization. That's down right. Here. That's right. Look at how the animals do it. We vicious. Yeah. Women is vicious. Yeah. That's it. Okay. We protect our children at all costs. At all costs. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Every yeah. species we fucking try to protect our children. We do the best that we can. That's it. That's right. You're right. You're right. I just read um, earlier today. I'm trying to understand what this is, but it, that New York City is proposing a, to add an X category. On, on birth certificates. It's like adults who uh, don't identify as male or female can now change their birth certificate with just an X. It's fine. Let yeah. them do it. But, but, how do you not, but how do you not identify as male or female? Do you know what I'm saying? Like if you give me that birth, the baby, the, they're no. giving the baby. Well, the no, child? actually, the parents. No, right, parents. Parents are, you know, parents now. If they don't want to identify their child with it's a your sex, kid, let them do what the fuck they want. Right, if they they can they can just uh, they'll categorize them as undetermined or unknown. Well, that's their kid. Okay, I mean that's okay. their been this is that a free is, country. That is their kid. I yeah. get that. Uh, yeah, but now, adults who don't identify as male or female, who are those people? They fucking they they whatever. Like you identify as as a woman. You're a I woman. Identify as trans. You're, I'm, you're I'm, a woman. I, I am trans. I'm a trans woman. Okay, right. And I'm proud to be a trans woman. Right, right. That's sad. Right. So you identify as that. Jesus Christ mess <laughs> up, and that's what it is. <laughs> right. right, right, right. I told you I got a little bit of both in there, but I am a woman. I'm a beautiful trans woman. That's you, it. That's absolutely it. That's so that's it. how but you I was identify. Not, I'm, I'm not delusional. Right. I'm not delusional. I know what I was. Right. I I, I know I know what's happening here with I, Jesus Christ. Mess up. Right. I'm third sexist. I'm yeah. third sexist. Okay. I'm special. You, yeah. I got a little bit of both. Okay. You, we need to be worshiping trans women we, because they got their, their whole brain is fucking lighting up. Yeah. My whole brain is lighting. How you think I'm so fucking rigorous, Angelo? And connected. Because I'm trans and I love myself and that's right. That's what's up. And that's it. So your brain, you, you just. The whole fucking shit is lighting it's just, up. It's just lighting it's up lighting at up. all times. I see dick, it's lighting up. Yeah. I see basketball, it's lighting up. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I see veg- vegetables, it's lighting up. That's I see cute dresses, it's lighting up. Buffalo I see wings. JFK Jr. without a shirt on, it's lighting up. <laughs> it's always lighting up. You always lighting up. My brain is fucked. Buffalo no. sauce, everything. No, lighting no, up. No, lighting no, up. No, Rigorous. No, Kinetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinetic. My yeah. shit is always on. Yeah. My shit is like my shit is like Tesla. Electricity. That's say. Hey yo. And that's what it is. I'm a beautiful trans woman. I got a lot of charisma. And I don't give a fuck. I love myself. I'm I got a lot of I got a lot of swagger, Angelo. Who you tell my it. shit is kinetic and rigorous, and I'm always on the hunt. You the you the Queen of That's swag. it. But look, it's their kids. Let them do whatever the fuck they want. I it's get a free it. country. I don't care. I get it. It's just the whole concept of not identifying as anything. So what? Yeah. Let them do it. They yeah. don't want to identify. That's I have, their business. I have no problem this with New them York doing City. it. You want to walk down the street and somebody says, what are you? You, you yeah. just say, My, what I am is silence. Right. Good for fucking you. <laughs> be silence. I don't care. <laughs> fucking be free. With what you are is the principle. I, I don't understand why people get so bent out of shape about what somebody else wants to do. That's true. You Absolutely. see what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's like with this football shit. Uh-huh. It's like if these people don't, they don't, they want to kneel at the fucking, let them right. fucking kneel. Right, right, right. Let right. them do whatever the fuck they want to do. Right. Isn't that what freedom's supposed to be about? It's what it's supposed to be about, but that's what's trying to be taken from us. That's some bullshit. That shit that, Trump, that, right that, shit that Trump did that's is ridiculous. That's bullshit. It's ridiculous. That's bullshit. With the Eagles. That's bull- America's That's not bullshit. America's not about that shit. You want to go fucking salute flags and ev- make everyone salute the flag? Go to Nazi fucking Germany. That's, That's what it. they was doing. We That's don't be it. saluting fucking symbols. That's it. They're not disrespecting the military. That's it. In fact, if you know the true story of that, Colin Kaepernick was talking to this Marine. The Marine said, look, I got a problem. He said, look, I'm That's not trying to disrespect the military. Because at first, what he was doing, 
he would fucking he wasn't kneeling. Right. He was fucking sitting or some shit. Right, right. So he said to honor the military, right. but still make my point. I'm going to fucking kneel. Right. So actually, the fucking kneeling is to honor the people who lost their lives and shit like that. But right. also make a statement right. that America needs to improve. And you know, what, Angelo, yeah. America does need to fucking improve a lot, a lot. Sad. A lot. We need to that's constantly great, get better. That's a great point that you just made. The great point is people need to know the full fucking story. That's it. Exactly. They need to know the full fucking story. Exactly. And they need to know that specific story about Colin Kaepernick. Talking to that marine motherfucker. I don't know why that's not the news. Before talking shit, you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, before because talking that's shit. the true story. He's <clears throat> act, they actually made it into kneeling the so- to respect the fucking military. Yeah, you're right. So go fuck yourself. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> uh, you know what I think they should do? I think every football player is to say they're not fucking playing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Time to fucking be men. That's if it. you really want to make a change in the world, yeah. hurt those motherfuckers in the pocket. In Say, the you know pocket. what? Yep. Every one of us ain't fucking playing till this. we do it the fuck we want. That's and it. then see what happens. See how quick they say, you know what? The people who want to stand can stand. The people who want to kneel can kneel. That's you know it. what? Sometimes when I go to see a basketball game, when I'm going to see the Knicks, yeah. even though I love the Knicks, they close my heart, but I it's know. very hard. It's like seeing <laughs> an ex-boyfriend. Yeah. It's very hard to watch those games right. because they stink. Yeah. Sometimes when the fucking <laughs> national anthem starts, I forget yeah. to stand up. I forget yeah. to put my hand on my heart. You do? That don't mean I'm not a fucking page. I'm not right. a page. I love this country. Right, right, right. But I'm saying this America. That's what America is. Right. We about freedom. And the, We're not about authoritarian shit. Right, right. However you say that authoritarianism. That's it. We're right. not authoritarian. We, we don't do no, that. We don't. We're about respecting people to express their soul and be who those is. Right. And we need to definitely respect the military okay. who protects our right to do that. Because if you don't believe that, you're living in a fucking fantasy land. Let me it. tell you something, Angelo. Tell me, I'm not. A, I'm not that smart a person, but I do know this. You're brilliant. I don't, I'm a New Yorker. I, I don't live are. in no fucking utopia. Mm-hmm. I know what reality is. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there. Mm-hmm. In other countries and shit that don't believe what we believe. Right. That, that believe in some other shit, some some backwards shit. Right. Them people that want to kill me, they, they don't think that I have a right to be trans. Right. That people don't have a right President to be Trump gay. That people don't have a right to be free. The mm-hmm. Super Bowl champion Philadelphia. I mean, Shannon, right in the I, middle of I my fucking God, speech I here. I touched nothing. I'm so sorry. That's all right. That's that's what you're going to do. <laughs> go, go, go. And there's people out there that don't believe in that shit. Right. And those people is evil and they out there and we need fucking protection from those motherfuckers. That's right. And the military and these people, they protect our freedom in a lot yeah. of ways. That's of course, it. Of this course. ain't a unit. This ain't a utopia. I mean, I know America's done a lot of bad right. shit. Yeah. But we've also done a lot of good shit. Yeah, we have. And we also, these principles that we got in this country, Angelo, mm-hmm. yeah. they're good principles. Sure. So we need to keep striving to be better. Right. And we're going to get that because Angelo's here. Well, I appreciate and Angelo that. Angelo doing good. And Maurice is here. And she doing Am good. Am I wrong? Am I saying bad things? I don't think so. I don't think I mean, so at all. I mean, it's my opinion. <laughs> yeah. It's my opinion. And I share it. I think a lot of people, millions of people share it. Do we got some pop news to lighten this shit up? <laughs> So let's look at some runways. Oh, you um. Well, okay. Well, what I want to do because if we can we get like a live feed, like the, the White House says they were gonna have. Gonna Angelo have... been working at the Daily Show too long. <laughs> yeah. He'd be turning this shit into the Trevor Noah show. <laughs> the White House said this. No, no, no. Because at, in lieu of having the, the Eagles uh, come out to the White House, they were gonna have a, a party, a national anthem party. And so it was supposed to be at 3 o'clock today at the White House. The, the, the what does Lord. that even mean? Come on. <laughs> yes. I mean, shit. So I was wondering if we could look to see how corny this now, shit is. This motherfucker Trump is such a cornball. his whole life, he been, he, but listen. Yeah. This motherfucker knows how to manipulate the media. Mm-hmm. Since he was, he turned himself into a celebrity. Yeah. So yep. we deserve this shit because yeah. we fall for this shit. Yep. I I'm agree. Talk, when I say we, I'm talking about the fucking media. Yeah, yeah. We, he knows how to be a car crash, uh-huh. and he knows how to get headlines. Yeah. Even when he was young, he was pretending to be his own publicist that, and yeah. calling and getting himself in page six. Yeah. So these journalists, Angelo, they, they need it. to be better. Yeah. They need to be fucking better, Angelo. Yeah. That's what I'm telling but you. But we also need we need to be better as, as a people and as voters. Well, who are we? Who fall, who fall, we are the journalists. Yeah, but who fall prey to that bullshit? We need to be fucking. How better. do you not see through it? You Everybody know? needs to be better. Every Everybody, needs, Everybody to be needs to be as good as Angelo yeah. Lazaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, Angelo, you're well, a good what? person. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. you don't have any hate in your heart, Angelo. Uh, yeah. You're also very smart and rigorous. Right. But you also have a very kind heart. Okay. The only person you hurt is yourself, which I admire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, you don't hurt anybody. You're not hurting anybody else but yourself. I only hurt myself. That's cute. Okay, I'll tell you what. The, oh, uh, oh, we didn't find that picture. I, oh. oh. No, what do, you, what do you have? Okay, so I found on TMZ, it's talking about the celebration, and it says the whole celebration, in quotes, lasted a whopping six minutes. I don't know if you want to see a little bit of it. <laughs> oh, God. What are we talking about? What's this? 
the, the, the White House the celebration. Wh- let's, let's see a little bit. Take a little second. But then yeah. look, look at how much time we got. So listen. Oh, we don't have a lot of time. Okay. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Okay. <laughs> what? It sounds like a great party. <laughs> Pass. Oh my God! Now, they, look, they, at, they, look at this shit, man. Look at this shit. I mean, they trying look at this too nonsense. hard. Nonsense. They trying too hard. Look, and he doesn't know the words. Yeah. He stopped singing. Look at him. <laughs> he doesn't know the fucking words. Look at him. <sighs> he don't know the fucking words. Uh, uh, right, listen. They trying too hard. I can't. Look, All, right. All right. America's always. If you respect freedom, yeah. you love this country. You got to back that up with what that means. That mm-hmm. means you respect other people's right to live how they want to live and do what they want to do right. as long as they're not breaking the law. That's it. It could be different from you. Anytime you wanting somebody to do exactly what you're doing, then you're not really respecting freedom because that's not. not freedom. Exactly. That's what you're doing. Right. Somebody else doing something else. Right. You may want not want to go to the party he's going to. Right. That's fine. Right. This, we need to learn how to respect each other's tastes and rights. Re- respect each other's parties. I mean, shit. Right. I mean, that's what it is, Angelo. Yeah, it is, baby. Some people believe this. Some people believe that you're free to do that. Yeah. You're just not up. free to. You're not free to fuck up with my rights and shit. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I like to suck dick and get money. That's what I like to do. <laughs> Happy Pride Month, everybody. This is the Rigorous Podcast. I'm Angelo. That's Shani, and that's the Queen Maurice. So take us out, baby. Yo, salute the flag, and always, you know, I love that hero, Dick and Calamari. Shout out to you, troops everywhere, mm-hmm. defending that freedom. Listen, <laughs> listen. We know we know what you're doing, the sacrifice you're making, and I love each and every one of you and shit. And you know what? Because of your bravery, I I will fucking eat a couple of calamaris. I don't care. No, just be to show. Why would you I say that lesbian. at the? I would go lesbian for a couple of these military bitches. That's a whole other podcast, That's mama. That's sad. Well, we t- I do that shit for the, for my country. Peace.